Hey everybody, Josh RV Nerd here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan, offering some quick clarity on uh, the reporting of a story that you may have heard out there. So uh, there was recently a report done that said Thor, one of the major manufacturers of RVs, Th uh, Thor and Forest River being by far and away the two largest, I call it just Thorest River basically, <laughs> but Thor alone had a 14 billion with a B dollar backlog. And I have said in some of my previous videos, there had been talks of some very interesting production changes potentially coming from manufacturers. There was discussion at some point that some brands may for a limited period, just stop building things for dealer inventory stock and only build pre-sold units for customers. That has not come to pass. Although the ratios of that build lineup have changed because uh, there's just, you, you can't just absolutely stop sending things to your dealers. You're gonna have a revolt by all of your dealers. Now, I've made no secret of the fact that we are hurting for inventory here at Halet RV, and every time something shows up, it leaves. But there was a uh, report on the report that uh, was put out recently that said, Thor's sold out. They're not making units for dealers anymore this year. No, no, that's not correct. We've had three come in today alone. We're expecting roughly another 80 more this month, some of which are pre-sold, some are not. That $14 billion with a B backlog from Thor is their entire backlog. Those are all the things not in active production currently. That is a combination of pre-sold units to customers like yourselves who have already pulled the trigger on something, just waiting for it to be built and shipped, and dealer stock units for people like me. This is... Uh, I'm, I'm not putting this out there even just just because like of us I think there's a lot of other dealerships that uh, could be potentially hurt by an unintentional I believe completely unintentional misunderstood report I want to just put that clarity out there I'm not trying to throw mud at anyone you notice I didn't I didn't even get into the names here I'm not trying to point fingers not trying to throw dirt I know the people that put the report of the report out. They're very good people. I think maybe it was simply misunderstood what the report was actually covering and what those numbers represented. So yes, dealers are still getting inventory this year. Actually, what it does look like currently, this is current, a lot of things could change, is that through July and September, a lot of, not all, but a lot of the shortage challenges we've been running into are going to start resolving. If you haven't already seen this, I've already talked about pretty much all of this in our June RV industry update. I will leave a link to that in the video description where you can start to see more, including uh, some things, some indicators I have seen regarding uh, pricing of say like wood and lumber actually declining. And it has continued since uh, my June uh, update report came out. So take a look at that video. If you appreciate the straight facts and the clarity like this, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. And I'm not gonna tell you that I always get it right, but I am gonna try to always do my best to give you the fairest view that I possibly can. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy Halo Camping, everyone.